hello friends i hope you are doing well on today's video i'm going to show you how two plc share data they are connected alike on the layer diagram as you see on like this one so let's do that one and let's go to the semantic manager first and create new project okay PLS2, PLC, communication. Okay, let's insert our in stationers. Let's say PLC1, say PLS1, and let's add one again. Let's say PLC2. Okay, now let's create the hardware configuration okay okay let's sort the hardware part my cpu is 317 okay Okay, let's create new internet. It one. Okay. okay, great. Let's enable our block because I need later. So, so it's zero okay let's save and compile i'm done for uh, plc1 and let's do for plc2 like okay the cp is again the same Okay. Okay. Seven compile. Okay. Now I have created the hardware configuration, so let's also see the network station. okay they are connected so let's create a connection okay uh, this is great so i select this one and the, the connection type is s7 so there are so many other options so for this one we have to use this how do we select this this is better on let's see the help it's the detail is on the help so we can see that one let's say put slash gate okay as you see here for s7 everything is on the help for siemens that's why i love siemens you see when do we use s7 connection so which block we are going to use and everything is here you can check from here this is for on the same project and everything is here for udp connection for tcp connection when do you use you have to see the how to part so it will give you the a great and the good explan explanation so everything is here this is for on the other project okay so you can get this why do you use s7 connection or tcp connection everything is here 
which blo block you are going to use so you will get everything here okay i'm not going to describe but just show you here you can get the information okay so everything is okay so uh, let's say apply the uh, connection we can yeah make it one okay and close and let's save and compile okay okay no errors so i have done the hardware configuration so let's create the blockers let me insert two data block for sending and receiving this let's say send data okay let's add one the dp for the plc one again for receiving this is for receiving receive data okay let's parameterize again for each one let's say send data insert an array for starting one 10 10 integers i want to send 10 in integers okay so let me parameterize this one for so i'm going i'm on plc one so let me make it one to save time you can so i have parameterized for db 100 100 for sending to plc2 and let's also create a variable on db101 for receiving okay receive data Not likewise i have to receive 10 integers again from plc1 2 okay save so i I got 10 variables here so okay uh done for plc1 so let's do for the same for the uh, plc2 okay insert data block let's say 200 send data also let's add one db for receiving let's say 201 receive receive data so let's create parameterize the dbs again db200 the data that going to be sent to the plc1 so send data to plc one let's make it ten uh, ten that data okay let me parameter let's say it's on pills to let me make it the volume must be must to this is just to confirm okay uh, let's create for 200 i have to create the 10 variables for receiving also receive data Ten variables here again okay it's created so yes so so the advantage of this put in the gate is we can program on one on the one plc so
So we can write and read a parameter from the other PLC. So let's paste our program on OB1. Okay, send data to PLC2. Okay, standard library system functions team for 15. Send. Let's say for stand, let's create this instant DB, DB1. Okay. The request to be activated when let's the memory beat the clock memory the connection is going to be this one so which I'm so we have to mention the address which is going to be sent okay where it going to be saved okay so our data are going to be saved on db201 dbx starting from 0 integers 10 okay where on which you know, which data is going to be sent so the data going to be sent will be db200 the db100 from my plc 1 dbx 0, 0.0 integers 10 so i'm going to send db10 this db to the plc2 so where do i am going to save on my db201 that's what i what i write here yes okay let's add one network for receiving receive data from plc2 okay so to receive i have to use the gate again let me create the instant db let's say two the request will be activated by the clock memory okay and the id is going to be the connection you can write just okay here also we have to check on this address on which data going to be come or receive uh, which data is going to be get from the other plc we have to add put the address of the other plc db that's 200 we are going to receive 200 db from plc2 and integers we are going to receive 10 integers so we are going to receive db200 and put on db101 on plc1 that's what i am what i am writing here okay so here we are going to save that's on our db101 on plc1 integers 10 okay done so have done we can the advantage of this is this put in the gate is we can receive and send data from one plc okay now then let's uh, close this one let's simulate let's see the simulation okay we can check simply by uh, the simulation
Okay, let's download now. Okay, let's see two. And then run, run. So when we see DB101, we have to get the DB data from 201. So let's see this one, DB101. We have to get the data of PLC2. As you see, it's two. this one. Then also we check on 201, we have to get the DB100 value from PLC1. So let's see also this one. Let's monitor. So one. So we are sending and receiving a data from one PLC to another PLC. So it's done. So everything is going okay. Thank you for watching. See you again on another video.